All right, so I was very hard on the Jaguars for the Trayvon Walker pick. I think fair, but, you know, maybe hard on it. However, I love this pick. This is great. I'm not even mad about the trading up, really, because I think that he's good and he's a position of need. Now, my team, the Buccaneers, traded back. I like that we have more holes and we're just in a different situation. Plus, we don't need a linebacker. The Jaguars could use a linebacker. And I've compared Devin Lloyd, and you're going to watch his film and, and love it. Trust me. We're, we'll get into that in just a second. It's really exciting. Uh, I've compared him to Bobby Wagner. I, and I think that there's some honest comparisons there. And he's more of a unique player as well. So let's just talk about what I like about him so much. So let's start off with a play like this. This kind of goes to show this kind of the level he plays on. And his instincts are just fantastic and this is a great example of it so he's number zero which is a fun number for a football player uh what's going to happen is you have multiple players who are going to pull over from the offense's left to the offense's right so from our right to our left i've circled devin lloyd in white right there so he's one of the guys who probably would get blocked by one of these two players who are pulling over again the tackle and tight end Right when this play begins, you see that, you know, Lloyd starts to move in. He sees the gap. But now there are multiple offensive players who could block him out of the way. So what do you do in this scenario? Your odds of dodging both seem very slim, right? Well, ideally, what you want to do in this scenario is just allow someone else to make a tackle, right? The run game is all about teamwork. And you have to do stuff to allow other players to be able to make the tackle sometimes. And that's what Lloyd is going to do. Watch him really just hit, get create contact with the tight end, even though the tackle was the one who was going over and trying to make that initial block on Lloyd. In doing this, what it allowed him to do is kind of take away both of those two offensive players. And now the other teammate, the other Utah player for Lloyd, uh, he is able to clear up the other gap. And for the running back, there's just nowhere else for him to go. So this is just good decision making from Lloyd and good instincts from Lloyd. Not just that, but Lloyd eventually fights through and still is kind of the guy who at least helps make that tackle. So that's just an incredible play from Lloyd. And I'm telling you, when you watch his tape, these plays just jump out at you. I mean, his tape looks like a highlight reel even though it isn't there's so many just spectacular plays on his tape like something like this which is kind of a, a less traditional play but this is still something that's cool and good and again he's great at the traditional stuff as well but he'll just find a way to make plays sometimes so on this play again uh, i've circled him and it's going to be a run to the left side of the screen and again you have multiple players pulling over so if lloyd were to simply just run to the left side of the screen there's offensive lineman in the area who can block him out of the way so what is he going to do instead watch him just completely run around and still gets over and is able to make that tackle I mean he looks like a lion going over and making that tackle it's kind of an a, incredible play by him and it's a unique play that's not something you see very often typically you don't see guys being able to do that or when you do see guys try to do that it doesn't work well Lloyd can make it work and going over to this one speaking of plays that you don't see too often I mean if you're looking for a Micah Parsons 2.0 again uh, it's always going to be difficult to replace someone like, you know to replicate someone like that who is just a complete difference maker the second he stepped onto the field with Dallas but Lloyd has some similar tendencies and one of those similar tendencies is on this play in the pass rushing game and I want to be clear there's, you know, typically when people say pass rushing linebacker, they mean someone who can just run in and, you know, get make a tackle. Someone who can sort of be a linebacker, look like you're an off-ball linebacker, but then right when the play starts, you all of a sudden are rushing the passer, and maybe a halfback is trying to block you, and you can get around them pretty well and get to the quarterback that way, which, you know, Lloyd can do. But as you see on this play, he's legitimately just a defensive end on this play. He's an edge rusher. They would legit use him as an edge guy at times. And he wasn't just like, okay there. He legitimately was a good edge rusher as well. I mean, look, as you see, and this is going to be a pretty good technical move there as well. He got his hands in that uh, well as well, which that's kind of tends to be, you know, a lot of times when you have these off-ball linebackers who then have to rush the passer, they don't know how to use their hands because that's not what they do. Well, Lloyd has done this enough. He knows how to use his hands. So there is that versatility with Devin Lloyd that's very interesting to me and very exciting to me. Meanwhile, for his coverage ability, there's a reason I've compared him to Bobby Wagner at times because of what he can do in coverage, especially that's where the Bobby Wagner comparisons jumped out to me because he's just such a great middle linebacker especially in coverage where you have a receiver who's going to run a curl route that's going to get just a little bit uh underneath 
Lloyd's zone here. And this is something that you can do. This is something that makes sense. The offense just has someone run underneath. You kind of, you know, get a wide receiver on a linebacker. Maybe you can make a move and pick up more yards, but you can at least gain some yards. It's a third down and short, and that's what you want to do. You want to get to the 40-yard line. And look, right when this play begins, you see the quarterback, you know, his first read was somewhere else. Now gets over here, sees, okay, let's make this throw. If we can get it, we can pick up the first down. Lloyd is about a yard off. But Lloyd notices all of this. Watch him step in front, get the interception, and he's going to take it all the way into the end zone for a touchdown on top of that. I mean, talk about an incredible play. Yes, this is a highlight reel level play. Typically, I don't like to show guys highlights, but uh, you know, I like to show just kind of their average plays because I think that matters more. People get too, people, I think people pay too much attention to highlights at times. But what excites me about a guy like Devin Lloyd and the reason why I do have him as such a great prospect is he is someone who, in my opinion, he is more than capable at making those splash plays, making those explosive plays, but he also does all of the little things well, which is why I'm, I'm so excited by him. Finally, something like this, you know, the guy can move as well. That's another thing that he can do well, and part of that, part of it is good instincts. He's constantly putting himself in the right position, where this is going to be just, you know, you know, a screen pass to the offense's left. I've circled Lloyd. Watch how quickly he's going to get over there. I mean, look, as you see, once this ball gets thrown to that side of the field, Lloyd is able to get over there, dives, and makes the tackle. Lloyd did it all for the Utah defense. He was constantly in the fold. Every play you watched, he was doing something. And that's, you know, he was a great, a lot of fun to watch when you watch film from him because, you know, a lot of defensive players, a lot of times, this their rep doesn't really get into the play it's like you don't learn too much him you learn something every play because he got into every single play it seemed like and these things just jump out at you you can you know you watch any game you'll see a lot of these tendencies so that's what I saw on film so yeah I mean listen he was my fourth rated prospect in this draft class now again positional value is going to drop him down of course but uh we've seen linebackers go in the top five before and to me he is that quality of player I'm surprised he fell as far as he did, I think teams to some degree are just realizing linebacker isn't the most important position, at least by linebacker, I mean off ball linebacker, of course. So by that logic, I think it makes some sense, but this guy can do it all. He can be great. And it seems like the Jaguars are kind of, you know, valuing position versatility a little bit as well. Getting Lloyd, who is definitely very versatile, versatile, and getting Trayvon Walker, who is very versatile, uh, that should make for some real trouble for opposing offenses. So the Jaguars defense, which has to get better, should get better with these selections is what I think. Uh, what do you guys think? What are your thoughts on Devin Lloyd to the Jaguars? I like this pick, but what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always... Thanks for watching.